Record early vote out, ver voter turnout across the country for this election cycle where races are tight, not just for the White House, but for congressional and Senate seats as well. And joining us right now to discuss how the balance of power could shift is Tennessee Senator Marsha Blackburn. Good morning to you, Senator. Always great to see you. Good morning to you. Polls do show a tight race between Harris and Trump. How close do you think it's really going to be? And how are you feeling right now with just four days until the final ballots will be cast? The race is going to be tight. We know that the momentum is on President Trump's side. We're also seeing that in the tracking polling and the daily polling. And we know that he has moved ahead in six of the seven battleground states. This is good news. And we feel that as you look at the voter registration in states that do have that voter registration. Republicans are outvoting Democrats in the early vote. Our early vote ended in Tennessee last night, and we were very pleased with the numbers that we have been seeing coming from that. I think that many states are pleased. President Trump will win this election on November 5th. A lot of states setting records right now with their early votes. And right now there are several Senate seats that could shift the power of the Senate. Which seats do you think could shift to the GOP? Of course, West Virginia is shifting to the GOP with Governor Justice taking Joe Manchin's Senate seat. Then in Montana, Tim Sheehy, our candidate there, is well ahead of John Tester, the incumbent Democrat. In Ohio, Bernie Marino is moving ahead of Sherrod Brown. Those two seats we should get. You also have Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin that are tied up. Nevada is very close, and Nella Domenici in New Mexico is closing the gap there. And those are all possibilities for us. They are all going to be very tight races, and I think we're going to be glued to the TV watching those results. Mitch McConnell has served as GOP leader since 2007. We know he's stepping down after the elections. Right now, we got South Dakota Senator John Thune, Texas Senator John Cornyn, Florida Senator Rick Scott all vying to take over. Who do you support and why? We are going to turn our attention to those after we get past November 5th. I have talked with each of these gentlemen. They're all well positioned to lead our Republican conference. And what we're wanting to do is get to work on making the 2017 tax cuts permanent, working to be certain we secure that border. As you know, these are issues people have said we have to have action on these issues. So I look at it more as our conference saying here is our to-do list that we're going to take action on for the American people. Former President Trump rolled up in the battleground state of Wisconsin in a garbage truck on Wednesday after Biden's remarks about Trump supporters. What impact do you think this will have on the election? It's been so interesting to hear from my friends who are not Republicans about this. One texted me after the garbage comment and Mark Cuban's denigrating comments about conservative women. And she said, you know, we don't agree on everything, but you're not garbage. And I do think you're really smart. <laughs> and so I this is something people have taken note of, they've taken offense to it. Independent-minded women are not going to move in lockstep. And the Democratic Party wants women to move in lockstep and agree with every position that they have. And we certainly have seen that at the national level. And I think it's offended many people, many women who are independents, they're not partisans, but they know that they are, uh, that they think things through, that they put a lot of uh, attention onto issues, and that when they cast their ballot, they're voting for what they think Senator, is going to improve the lives of them and their family. Senator, very quickly, what's your message to Mark Cuban this morning? You need to apologize. You need to rethink this. Women are smart, and they know the comments you made were dumb. Tennessee Senator Marsha Blackburn, thanks for joining us this morning. You got it.